In English, it's a heavy word. Uh, integrity. Integrity. Now, integrity may be the definition yake. And by this message, it's a message that I want to believe God it is going to, it's cutting across and that we will do something about this integrity. One of you son. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 6, better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. It is better to be a poor man than a poor man who has what we call integrity, who are belief. Ya kumba kuna hali ya uwa minifu, kuna hali ya umuogopa mungu, kuna hali ya eshima kwa ke mungu. Afadhali uwe masikini, mtu kama yule, kuliko tajiri ambaye jia zake ni chafu. And I know as I'm saying this, many will be like, ah, afadhali nililie, nikiwa gari, dani ya gari kubwa, kuliko kucheka, nikiedesha nili? I said, hiyo ndiyo, hiyo kuko ndiyo kwa hiyo wanasema. But that's a lie from the devil himself. It is not from God. The Bible says, it is better to be a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. We have so many people who are crooked, who are rich, but they are crooked. And in the same manner, we have so many people who are rich and they are righteous. I pray that you be among the righteous rich men. But still on the same, there are so many people who are poor and they are righteous. But also, there are many people who are poor, but they are walking a crooked life. Sasa huyo sisi huyo utamweka wapi? Huyo ni mbaya zaidi. Ako poor, lakini anaishi maisha crooked. May God help every one of us that we are purposing to walk and to live a righteous life from the word right. Doing what is right at the right time, in the right place. And that pleases our God. Amen. And so today I'm speaking about integrity. And integrity, it is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles. It is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles for those who are writing. It is also the state of being old. Old. W-H-O-L-E. It is the state of being old and undivided. In simple terms, it is uprightness. Uprightness. So integrity, ama wadidifu, ni ina hali ya kukua Mkweli, no, no, mkweli ndani yako Na tabia zako ni zikona uzito, zikona mkufu Ya kumbo ukisema la, inakuwa ni la Hauta yubishwa yubishwa kwa sababu meona pesa Hauta yubishwa yubishwa kwa sababu meona opportunity Bonesha sikuwe sana now, a story is said, is told, na usikize vizuri sana. Adini moja hapa inabilika kusu mchezi moja, a young builder, ambaye alisoma hii lesson ya uwadilifu 
the hard way. He learned the lesson of integrity the hard way. So this man, young man, in Jensi, same contract na kwa tunaweza kuelewa, ama engineer kwa lugha tunaweza kuelewa. So akaoa msichana wa mjenzi kama yeye. Alipoa msichana wa mjenzi kama yeye. Ah uh, alikuwa huyu baba, baba ya mtoto alipenda kuinua maisha ya msichana wake na kijana wake sasa ambaye ameoa msichana wake. So the old man who is also an engineer ama contractor au jenzi kujenga manyumba akaita the son in law and he gave him a contract to build a very good house a house that was not in the area nyumba ya kifahari ambayo haijawahi kuwa pale so alikuwa anafanya hivi just to you know you know he gave a contract to the son because he knows the son is an upcoming you know engineer so ampe kazi ile aweze kufanya So he said, a house that has never been built in this place before. So the son of course was very happy, very happy that this was a big contract and he knew that now that this is a big contract to build a much, I mean a, a palace in this place, nita pata pesa mzuri. I'll do, I'll get good money. And so the son began the work. Akaanza kujenga akaleta materials kazi ikaanza kwa mafundo akaingia kwa ground But then the only challenge that is with this son in law hakujenga nyumba na materials zile zilitajika Wewe unajua pia aliambiwa jenga nyumba and then of course payment itakuja baadaye So akajenga nyumba na substandard materials the poor quality you know poor work and poor quality of the house actually spent a lot of money to himself and he delivered a very bad house to the father no akujenga nyumba nzuri yes ilikuwa ni kubwa ah lakini sasa alitumia vitu ambavyo havikuwa vya standard because alitaka pesa so after he finished the father asked him the father in law asked him is the house built as i asked nyumba imejengwa vizuri na nyumba ya kifahari vile ambavyo niliuliza ama nilisema ujenge the son in law akasema ndio baba so the old man akauliza basi nipatie bill ya hiyo ile pesa yote umetumia ah ndio nikuandikia check ya hiyo nyumba yako i mean hiyo nyumba yangu ambayo nilikwambia ukunijenge and so the son gave the bill of how many millions are you going spend it? and then the father in law akaandika check kwambia this is the check of the work ambayo umefanya and then the old man also asked because alikuwa amempatia title deed to process some documents some kukubalisha aweze kujenga so the old man akauliza where is the title deed so the son in law akapatia baba title ndio hii wakati baba ameshika title deed hivi akamwambia kijana by the way i didn't tell you why i wanted you to build this house sikuambia kwa nini nilitaka ujenge nyumba hii but i wanted to do something so special for you and my daughter to show that i love you so much so here take the title deed and go and live in that house. Mume ni pata. Baada ya kujenga ile nyumba, baba akamwambia, shika title deed. Hii nyumba ni wewe nilikuwa ninawajengea. Hata kama wewe ni ulijenga, nilitaka hiyo nyumba ujenge, alafu wewe na msichana wangu muishi huko sababu nawapenda sana. So he was given the title deed. The young man was shocked and disturbed. Why? Ile nyumba kwa maoni yangu sio nyumba ambayo ingekaa miaka 
mingi na sio nyumba ambayo ingekalika vizuri ni nyumba ambayo ilikuwa na shida mingi materials ambayo kama ni chuma moja alifaa kujenga na bibi kwa wale ambao wamejenga mahali ambapo alifaa kujenga na chuma inaitwa D12 aliweka D10 substandard mahali alifaa kuweka simiti tatu ama simiti ya simiti tatu aliweka simiti moja akasave mbili akaweka kwa mfuko mahali alifaa kununua rangi ya quality akanunua rangi dhabi class ama wicheba pesa yote na akanunua hilo ile rangi mbaya na pesa ya ile rangi nzuri ile ndina kaweka mfuko and so when he came to the father the father told, told him this is your house you build it for yourself praise the name of the lord amen that was the highest test of integrity 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 it is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles uko mkweli na kanuni ya tabia zako ni iko na nguvu haiwezi badilika ya kwamba nikisema mimi i am not corrupt wewe sio corrupt ukitumwa ukanunue chuma ya 1000 utanunua ya 1000 au utanunua ya 800 uweke 200 kwa mfuko na useme waandike kuandikia receipt ya 1000 those things do happen ya kwamba mtu ameenda kuweka gari mafuta na ameenda ameambia yule mwenye na tet niweke mafuta ya 2000 lakini receipt ya ndikia pesa ngapi ya ndikia receipt ya 1000 kwa sababu kazini alipatua elfu tano ya kuweka mafuta ameenda ameweka elfu mbili receipt ameandikiwa elfu tano elfu tatu ameweka wapi kwa mfuko hizo ndio mambo najaribu tutataka tuweze kuongea siku ya leo praise the lord because tumejikuta hapo and until you are there you may not prove yourself if I'm walking a life of integrity or not. Tumejaribiwa. Na mara mingi tumeanguka kwa majaribu. Swali ni je, ulipoanguka mara ya kwanza ulijifunza ama hukujifunza? Praise the name of Jesus. And so the father told this man you build it for yourself whatever you do church and friends and whoever is listening to this mara mingi you are doing it for yourself ni danganya lakini unajidanganya ni dharau lakini wewe ndiwe unayejidharau praise the name of the lord god cannot be mocked what a man a man a man sows is what he reaps and so the story tells us clearly of a man who was such creepy a man whose integrity level was so low ni mara ngapi tumejikuta mali kama pale by the hand of his grace of forgiveness and the scripture about it is sama Proverbs 28 verse 6 I repeat Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity Afadhali ukue mpua lakini wewe ni mwadilifu Lakini hatutaki kukuwa maskini tusichekelewe Hatutaki kuwa maskini tusiongelewe But what does the Bible say Our manuo We better have not than have and be wicked. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let me put that this let me the vizuri hapo. Kuna watu wengi sana wako na mali ambayo wameipokea vizuri na iko halali vizuri sana. Wako wengi and we know them, I know them, we know them. 
hawajafanya ili corruption hawajaiba ya mtu wamefanya kazi jasho yao Mungu aka multiply jasho yao ili lakini pia kuna wengi sana ambao wako na mali manyumba kubwa magari kubwa biashara kubwa vitu kubwa lakini hizo vitu walizipata aje praise the name of the lord Hallelujah. Again ni anaweke vizuri hapa. Kabla Mungu anaibariki tabo kidogo hapo hivyo. Kabla niweze kupata siku nzuri ya mkozo wakati pia nilikuwa tu kidogo. No, no young man, young man hapo. Nilikuwa natamani kupata masimu mazuri, masimu kali kwa sababu gani? Nilikuwa naona wasichana warembo wenye wako chini yangu na miaka wako na masimu kubwa wakali vizuri mpaka siku moja nikakana mmoja akaniambia vile hizo simu anapataka. Nikasema afadhali kamulika mwizi yangu. <laughs> if you know what I mean if you know if you get it you get it praise the name of the lord ile bila ambayo wanapata hizo simu na ni mtu ambaye hayuko job si biashara si nini but he has a very he has an iphone kama unajua iphone simu kali kali nzuri ya pesa mingi ambayo hata leo bado sijanunua Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And get me right. I'm not saying all of them wala zipata vibaya. There are those who are blessed but the gift what what. Lakini kuna wale ambao wakipata wamelipa gharama mbaya. Just. Wamejiuza kwa majina mengine kama unataka nikuje straight. Wamejiuza. Ah. Wasiana wadogo ambaye ako na 20 years, 25 years, married to a 60 year old man. Not even marry, just living. And at the end, that we are going to The Bible says it is better to be poor, but with integrity, Amen. than to be rich, but you are rich in crooked ways. And unfortunately, that is the society that we are in. One is a serious Amen. So many people with rich days. But the question you need to ask yourself, you nataka your richness ya huyo mtu. Ilitoka wapi? Ilianza aje. If you are told to do that, will you do it? To get whatever they have. Bana sifia sana. Integrity, who are they live? Now, now. Job chapter 1 Ayubu Najua wengi tukisikia Ayubu we know uh, the man The Bible says this Job chapter 1 and from verse 1 There was there once was a man named Job who lived in the land of Uz He was blameless Blameless from the word blame. So blameless. Hakuwa na rawama. Okay? A man of complete. Are we there? Do you think I'll go? A man of complete integrity. He was a blameless man. That is job. A man of complete integrity. He feared our God and stayed away from evil. So a man of integrity, mtu mwadilifu, ni mtu ambaye anamuopa mungu na niseme kwa moyo, kwa mwili, kwa chochote alicho nacho. Kuyo ndiye mtu ambaye ni mwadilifu, mtu anaye muopa mungu. Kwa nasifio sana. Praise the name of the Lord. I know there is a business. Unawato kwa biashara. But you can do business with integrity. Hallelujah. Amen. It is possible you can do business with the fear of God. Please, you don't have to lie like others do. You know, unajua hii inatoa Uganda hii, hii product ile Uganda na unajua mali imetoa. Hata u Uganda hata itafuka boda. Ah? Unaenda kutoa mananasi unakuwa hii ni Uganda hii. Lakini sasa wewe juu juu ya Uganda na Tanzania ni gani? Unakubali? Na wewe kujua tu unajua kuna 
that Uganda is Guapa. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Just, you don't have to do it the way others do. Fearing God meaning means doing what God wants you to do. That is fearing God. Na inawezekana, actually, chochote yama chukuko mweka kwa Biblia, kinawezekana kufanyika. So akisema uniongope na usiongee uovu ama uongo, Mungu anajua vizuri sana inawezekana uishi na ufanye biashara katika ulimwengu mchafu na usiongee uongo. You know it it is become the normal system na jaribu ka kidogo but may God help you be like one job. The Bible says he was blameless. Hakuna lawama ungepata. In fact kama ungekuwa na lawama ni ya Mungu wake. As so the Bible says, he was blameless, a man of complete integrity. Mtu alikuwa na uadilifu wa ama uadilifu kamili. I desire to be such kind of a man. Praise the name of the Lord. Such kind of a man that when I'm nikikuja kufanyiwa audit, Mungu lisaidie. Nikikuja kufanyiwa audit, kama kuna lawama litapatikana ni ile ya Mungu wangu si ya kwamba nilidanganya mtu huko nilidanganya nilio niliongeresha mtu vibaya nilitusi mtu huko nilifanya vituko huko nilinunua kitu nikabadilisha price nikafanya vituko huko uh-uh. so the bible says if you are God and stay away on top of Job fearing God Number two thing he did it is that he stayed away from evil. Free away from the devil and he also free away from you. Shetani hata yeye siku jika yuko ana kama kama una biashara na yeye ukimtoroka na yeye anaona kauli yataki anitaki hata anajaribu kufuta lakini wewe ukimtorokea hata yeye atachoka na wewe. So this man job the Bible says he stayed away from you. Evil is anything that does not please God. So there are two things we are learning about integrity. Number one is fearing God. Two things about integrity. Number one, it is fearing God. Do you fear God? If yes, what he has said in his word. Do you purpose? You may naweza uka 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 kwa kidogo lakini ambacho amesema kwa neno lake ya kwamba ni abudu mimi usiabudu Mungu mwingine ah uh, usinene uongo wo, uongo usiabudu misanamu na vitu vilivyoumbwa anachosema Evil, kama mungu, unaogopa hitu. Unajua tu fear God is to obey God actually. Sio kuogopa mungu ya zile za hii mungu akiongea kuna nyamaza, kuna jifiche, kuna kitu kuna. Ah ah, it is to obey him, to obey what he says. Praise the name of Jesus. So number one about thing about integrity is a man of integrity fears God. Now unfortunately so many people fear me fear me they fear me they don't fear God a friend of mine siku moja amekuwa ana drive hapa tu Rongai so kitoka Nairobi jamu imeanza uh, posta huko juu na kuna haraka za kufika Kiseria Akaona akaangalia hiko akaona traffic go imeshika kushika Angalia hivi hakuna mali naona askari Akaamua fanya nini Siku wapate kuvala Pa mtu ndo kama ndo kama ndo kama Ufika mahali askari akamwona akapokelezea Afanye hivi Wah mshindo sasa ndio fanya nini Bosa aliweka gari kama You are the license Asemanga hivi Yeah. But then I didn't think that's it. Come to my story, I'm going to study. What do you know about? 
Nasema wafisa pole. Ndio kuuliza kwa nini unaona hapa? Akasema, "Wafisa, acha nipokee ukweli." Mimi niangalia tu hivyo, nikaona hakuna askari kwa barabara. Siku na kuona, ndio nikaongea, "Ningekuona, sige barabara." <laughs> na hivyo ndio walisamehewa na askari akamwambia aenda. <laughs> no my point is this. Is this if I saw him? Mimi sige fanya hiyo makosa. Kosa hivyo nafanya makosa. Ningekuwa na kuona sige fanya makosa. But because siko na kuona nikafanya nini? Makosa. Now, was God there or not? So this man, he knows what I'm doing is not right. But because nobody is there, ah, we move here leo. That's all. That's what I'm saying. Many of us, we have a tendency of we don't fear God. Na naomba mungu, everybody under heaven's vision goes to a church. Please, let's fear God. Why does he fear son? Let's fear God. Kama kuna kitu tujulikana nacho, tujulikane katika hali ya wadidifu. I spoke to a certain guy mwenye miajiri wa tukadha. So tukiongea ongea kaniambia, <laughs> basa, mimi kuna watu wa the help of Lami, ambalo niki sikia wanatafuta kazi because now wanakukua connected na mchungaji wawa kwa huyo mwaje. Nikisikia wanatafuta kazi na nisikia ni waiyo kanisa sina budi mwajiri nita mwajiri haraka iweze kanabi kumulisa kwa nini kwa sababu ninajua hao wa hiyo the heaven ni wa ukweli wanaongea kwa ukweli wanafanya ukweli nika hiyo kitu nika jiuliza wa wamekua labeled ni watu wa bawa ni wadilifu na ongea ukweli so I came back to myself Now, mimi ni kapeleka watu wa Heaven's Vision Gospel Church, watajulikana na nini? Hallelujah. Amen. Na naomba mungu wa tukusaidi. Amen. Ya kumbwa ni kiulizi wa sita, you know, kuna watu sometimes we fear, and I'm not saying there is anyone here, actually there is none here I've encountered. Sometimes you fear, chungaji kulifa mtu, najua, My brother hana kazi na najua mahali kuna kazi lakini kwa sababu ninajua John ninacheza safe eh yeah? you play safe eh yeah? utaki kupeleka John kwa sababu John akienda huko umefaa nini umejeibisha mwenye unapigiwa simu pastor huyu ndio unileta hata analaka kazi ni every time eh yeah? akitumwa anapajana kwa sababu mimi I pray God that Mungu atusaidie tukue kwa adilifu kanisa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. That we don't have to fear man alone. We look up to God, first of all fear him and do what is expected of us. Now integrity has to do with when you are all alone what you do. When no one is supervising you. Praise the name of the Lord. When no one is supervising you. Anyway, Job was a man of integrity. And ukiendelea kusoma habari ya Ayubu unarealize that God but this man alikuwa na alikuwa na kitu kinaitwa complete honor to God. And he fully trusted God and he never shamed his God. Haku, haku waibisha mungu wake. Hallelujah. Haku waibisha mungu wake. Na umba mungu wa tusaidia nasi pia. Tusaibisha mungu wetu. Have you gone to a place na unasikia wako kulita, wako unenaka nisa wapi? Na hiyo sole wajakulisa kwa sabi ya vini umefanya nizuri. Wamekulisa kwa sabi wanajue ni mtu wakwenda kanisa na kini bituko ni yako. Maneno yako, matendo yako, tabia zako azikai kabisa mtu ambaye anaenda kanisa. Wakati mwingine inaenda too much, inakuwa personal. Unasikia mekuuliza aje, pastor wako ni nani? Ah. Pastor wako ni nani? Ningependa kujua pastor wako. Sasa pastor wako na wewe, 
Now, it is one thing that has ashamed the body of Christ today in our nation. It is lack of integrity. Lack of integrity. It may ashamed Kadisa, nay, may ashamed Ungubia. Especially to the believers. Yes, we are born again. But we have. We don't have a good reputation. That's not reputation to Remember we talked about strong morals. Kindly take a look at your neighbor and encourage them. Hallelujah. We don't have a good reputation. And that is why the church is being ashamed. The brethren are being ashamed. And it is us who are causing that shame come. Remember, we talked about strong moral principles. Moral principles. So, if you want to talk of this, somebody came. I can tell you a story for a time. Pastor. Mimi nafanya kazi Nairobi mahali fulani sita tajja mahali fulani na mahali hapo wazungu wengi sana huwa wanakuja na wanatupatia pesa tip na hiyo tip inaponga in form of dollars na tukipewa hizo pesa wakubwa wetu hawakiona tumepewa wanakasirika na tunaweza kutoa kazi so to keep our own pesa we have to be careful. Now, since you pesa ni kona ni mingi, ni kona dollars mingi, pesa ko ina sa ipika elf mi amode na Kenya. So pasa pasa mo na juo na juo bira ba ina sa patrici yung pesa. Nasa ka ni kulete yung pesa, unisaydi yung pesa sa kuy ba dilisha. Na wakbo wakbo si juo. Kamusta sa ito? Tayo, tayo pa tayo yung pesa. Kani niyo di ko na ka ugujo ni tembele ko kasi ni kamera piki ibo ni tembele because pia ko toka na anything at kubarishwi. Masababu yun ko kuna security measures. Ita ni ko na organization. Aba sa ubi. Akasema ugujo na ako ni kubay yung pesa ni ugujo kaya nasa kubarish. Alam ko mimi na kubatay ko ng flani na ugujo tapaki na ko ng flani na mimi ako tapaki na ko ng flani. Kamulisa sana ni kibatika na uko alafu ikuwe sasa ni makosa ni mpanya itakuwaje. Kanebiwa baana pasta huta batika na vile tutafanya uwe nita kupatia kiwa mwoflani na tutacheza kuna vile tutacheza wewe kituwi nwewe na soja kwa get because pia gani kikia uko ya defende kuna risiki na dollar kuna vile tutapanga chumi pango vizuri au tashiko pasta. Then what? Ili nikasikisha ni kwa ba ni ya pasta haini shida Kuwe tuta no tuta danga ni msoja na hata ndo pati kikidogo na tunaongea kwa ofisi ya na na juu na ongea na nani right na juu na ongea sija juu na 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 ju so, akasikia kwa dao, nakanimizi sasa nitapanya aje pasta. Hini kwa mwambia, kiyo pesa kuliba? Kupanya. Kulipewa? Eee. Enda utumie vile utatumia, atakamu utambia wakubo, wakubalishi utoke na pesa, wende upati ufanya, wewe pesa kukulipa. Enda ushukulika. Alitoka kwa ofisi, akiwa shukupanya. Enda mshua deep in his mind, nikuwa naona huyu mchika hivo, na hata ana kitu. Yani, actually he wanted to give me 30,000. Pea baki na sebe nchi. Yani mpehani wewe. Au uo, au na hake na pesa. Moro. Strong moro. Principle. If you say no to what is wrong, right? What is wrong, say no. We have so many believers, even in offices, all of the corners. Ka opportunity ka pesa ka kitokea kuka dogo to give you. Unajesa au kidoga kwamba unasemanga bwana sifiwe. 
inaingia kwa mfuko kwanza unakumbukia wapi mbele that is the integrity we are talking about the fear of god we are talking about flee away from evil bible says he feared god and stayed away from evil if you want to please god stay away from evil many times you face it i'm not i'm not saying yakomba utakutana utakutana na but then flee from it yepe kabisa And so we are saying we are having believers who have very weak moral principles. Na kuna watu wako weak and your weakness ni the reverend Rasemanga people are living in sin in the name of weakness. Well let me allow me just to use that word weak uh, for now ile ujongi. Yeah people have weak moral principles that when they see money ah ni wokovu ni kama una una unayejuka una pera Eh, pesa ifanye kazi kwanza. Alafu wokovu utakuja baadaye. When people see money they see another god. Ah, uh, people forget about their faith. May God deliver us from the love of money. Na pesa ni nzuri. Lakini you know the love of money more than God himself that's where the problem comes from. Money is good and you're looking for it. I'm looking for it. Nzuri sana. But then the love of money more than God is what is causing people to walk in sin and to sin against God day and night. So I'm saying people walking in moral weak moral principles uh, like every time ukie be walking to you answer back you're insulted you answer back and insults uh yesterday I'm going to speak in Agesha and also get right this did you want to be about even if you are God a name huh? you don't become that name my brother when i call you a cow you don't become a cow but then i was saying them if you call me a cow i don't become a cow i don't feel anything but then be careful ki ni ta cow usianze ku give kama cow it's a name of the lord you call me a cow be careful you know you may start be behaving like one so when you are insulted you don't need, you don't have to answer back with an insults who keep people you don't have to answer back to defend them when you appear strong morals sexual sin is another one bad mouth kuongea ile thing anywhere ah what are you going to do wewe yule kai achana na don't go that way na kazini kuna watu wanakwanga hivyo Yaani yeye atakiongea kitu unaona tu badala ya kujibu wachana na nani? Wachana na yeye, kwa na amani yako. Corruption na nadhani. This is a vice even in our nation and all of us we know this. Baba si kwa sana. May we have strong moral principles wa ndivu wetu ujulikane na sisi wenyewe tu pampa si kwamba tutamkudu Mungu. And they were keeping reminding me the two things about integrity. Number one, you've got to fear God. Number two, you've got to flee away from evil. You remember the story that I began with? When it comes to integrity, anything we are doing, we do it for ourselves. Kijana kabi wa jenga nyumba, wakati alimaliza kujenga nyumba baba akamwambia hii nyumba umejijengea bwana asifiwe sana hii nyumba umefanya nini umejijengea friends and brethren we have to pray the christian faith by our integrity Christian faith by Christian faith and mean sisini denomination ama dini ya Kristo they are there are different faiths we have the muslim faith hindu faith others and the christian faith and for christian faith to be strong we have to be to walk the talk walk the talk to the word belief kwa maadili yetu tabia zetu useni wetu ndio 
imani ya Kikristo vile imechafuka na imechafuliwa jina tusiwe baadhi ya wale ambao wanafanya ili jina lifanye nini litafuliwe kwa sababu litachafuliwa kulingana na maneno yetu na utenda kazi wetu One of the things that I've come to realize is that we have so many excuses to make. We try to come out with excuses. Tunajaribu sababu mingi kwa nini ulipokea hiyo pesa? Kwa nini uliinflate your price? Kwa nini ulifanya hivi na hivi? People come with excuses. And those excuses, the devil happens to be your friend, if I would say so. And if you were lost, in the morning the Bible said, you are looking at, 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 at Adam, and Eve, and the devil, and God. God is asking a question, and Adam says, the woman. The woman says, uh, the snake. Huh? Excuses after excuses. But look at Job, the man I'm going to suffer kusu. Even when the devil came, hallelujah, the devil came and took everything that belonged to Job. Job still remained the same man. Look at that. The same man. You know, wakati zilikute wa toto wake, what do I mean? Maria, yo de kaena. Kuna tendency ya kwenda kutafuta mali mali pengine. Lakini, Job akasema, is it in Job? Says, I came with nothing on earth. And I will go back with nothing. And so may the name of God be revived. Para si piyo sana. The reason is why many people fall. Corruption. Wanaingia kwa kwa huko kwa pesa wanapata mali chakula nini nini hizo vitu zote ni kwa sababu this person was not able to be patient enough with God even wakati kiatu imeisha mpaka sasa kiatu yetu inaonekana lakini kule chini ni mguu inavoka chini you 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 still are there and knowing that my God will not leave me it seems as though he has left me but I know my redeemer lives he is not dead my situation may seem dead, but my God is alive. That was Job. Everything went, but he didn't backslide. He didn't go back. And that kind of integrity, you were delivered. Na imani katika mungu, ilifanya mungu wakaona moe wa uyu, Job. Later on in his life, he had more than the beginning. Wapendo wa kusipoteze matumahini mapema. In fact, it's too early to give up. Praise God. It's too early to give up. It is too early kuingizo kwa tabia zingine mbofu. Mambo zingine ambazo zinfraishi kungu. Awuja ngote ya sana. Awuja ngote ya sana. Awuja umia kama na ayubu aliyepoteze reflecting. But yet, he was still faithful to his God. When I say fear someone, he still remained the same man who feared God and walked a blameless life. His problems didn't make him to fall in faith. At the beginning of the Quran of Ashida, Tunanguka. Sasa vile tulikuwa wema sana na wadilifu katika kupenda mungu ama kukogopa mungu, tunatereza. But I'm here to encourage you that if Job made it or did it, you can also do it by the grace of God. Kwa nesu wa sikuwe sana. By the grace of God. Be known as one that man is not compromised. Always you can have a dish or two hippo or wovu. Be that one woman who cannot be compromised. To do shoddy businesses. And then you will lose. You will lose. I have a friend of mine. 
Um, every time when we meet and we remember this story, I just laugh at him. And he also laughs as well. So this guy is doing a business. Uh, and then the construction industry. Yeah? So kuna product that was on a user. This is a product that you want user. Kuna site. It is poor mali. If I know site Google. So we just need to go for a big. So one of the guys and I find a case for site. I come over here. So we need to get easy bit. There's a wakuzi here. There's a wakuzi here. Come over here. You go near around twenty thousand. Wakuzi here. So come over here. There's a park. So we do it. So this friend of mine come over here. That to me of us are up. We need to get easy bit. I come to me here. Twenty thousand. So who you rent your wakuzi here? You know, I will buy the way of my requirement to be your person. 20,000. The kind of requirement, Karibu Fieka, all the savings, the Ovese Kuleta Maria, and Gazepa stock. So to Kipatana can be a story. Nibu Chaka, a Muriza, and this day. How would you wait to call on a fire? Can I make a call on a kid? You want to make a person. So you will lose. Sipende Sana. Be content with contented with what you have. Even in the business, I know most of us here we in business. So she can have go for the day. I just move up the day. We sit the day. Hallelujah. How honest are you in your relationship to God? Ask yourself that question. Ask yourself, how honest are you? In what you do, how honest are you to others? How honest are you to yourself? As I say, as I come to conclude, the people in the world today, they do all what is humanly possible to acquire things. The problem is how to acquire them. I want to repeat a scripture that I began with. Better is a poor man who walks in his integrity than a rich man who is crooked in his ways. This rich, he had so much, yet he didn't know how to serve God or to serve humanity with what God had given him. I'm a Tajirika that killed him, Jinga. Our boy is a kind of movie of my shark in the Tajika. So, all what you have accumulated and you're not able to serve God with it, it ends up being useless. Allow me to see this and get it right that money and wealth without integrity it is nothing, it is useless. You get good name, but what will let gain the whole world? What will let profit you? To gain the whole world and lose your life. Aina Aja. So Shereka Aina Mwe 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 Kupatia Na Mwe 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 Titus Proverbs 11 verse 3 Write these scriptures Write these scriptures The integrity of the upright guys then Wadilifu wa wene haki wa ongoza But the crookedness of the treacherous destroys them Proverbs 11 verse 3. Titus chapter 2 verse 7. Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works and in your teaching show integrity and dignity. Luke chapter 16 and verse 12. Ah, this one, let me, let me, let me. This one is in Missouri, in Missouri. Uh, look. Chapter 16. Look 16 from verse 10. By the way, I said, my is kids, huh? If you are faithful in little things, you will be faithful in large works. But if you are dishonest in little things, when I go out to the person, you know, and for billion, the more you are up, and that I'm going to say, fifth level. Sure, 
Ha? Unafikiria 10,000 utaipata hapa lini? Ha? Una pole for more and then you want to save. Na hiyo to save is not honest. When will you ever get a 100,000? When will you deal with a million? Ukipata hiyo si unatoka na wazimu. Ah una shida hapa ni save ngapi? Alafu na save bado pesa. And if you are untrustworthy about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? And if you are not faithful with other people's things, why should you be trusted with things of your own? Maskeo, if you are not faithful with other people's things, that is integrity. Vitu za wenyewe chunga na vizuri, maagulu kwa maagizo chunga vizuri. So the integrity of Job it uh, cost God to bless him all the more. He was given much more than he had from the beginning. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I think I said this that integrity what the life has to do with you doing what is right even without supervision. Ah uh, mtu akiandika kazi anasemanga mimi naweza kufanya kazi with minimum supervision. Lakini huyu mtu akiajiliwa anakuwa a big burden to the supervisors. Lazima akumbushwe. Hawezi kituma. Umepatiwa responsibility ya kufanya kazi and every time there is like a problem you run to them. The supervisor. Hapa tunafanya kazi. Mahali ambapo unaona kuna uchafu unakimbia kuuliza ile kadastu naweza kuokota mimi. You not. Huh? You cannot do without being supervised. So supervision I mean integrity has to do with doing what is right bila ta kutazam when no one is there to see you wakati hakuna mtu hapo pale na hakuna mtu anajua utufanyacho na unajua umekifanya vizuri haujatizama na mtu hapo ni wadilifu huko and you can know if you are a man of integrity or not and doing what is right. I finished by this story. A not man who was very wealthy and needed actually was very good user to uh, 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 the owner of a great company. And he realized that he is getting old and he needed to leave somebody uh, to to take charge of his company or to take the leadership of the company. And this was to by appointing which are who a CEO ambaye angemsaidia kwa ile kazi. Alikuwa na watu wengi sana ambao alikuwa katika mawazo wa aweze kufanya kuwa mkubwa ama kuwa CEO wa kampuni. But of course in his mind he had to be very careful who he appoints into this big position or being a leader because there can only be one leader at a time. So all the candidates they seemed good but he decided to give an integrity test to know who among the candidates can run the company with honesty what as if you are sir assuming these people are ten of them the people who were born on the canon as a former CEO so the old man called all of them and he explained to them his intention of why he wants to appoint a leader in the process because all of them they look smart wameva yatu vizuri wameva masuti vizuri tai wa menyonga vizuri wanakuja vizuri wamdosi they are very good you know they are very they are people who are very good before the boss you know that eh very abdosi wako wazuri sana ndose ke ndoka they can do manner of things all manner of things we have we with um, my brother Moses the other day and uh, in fact I even asked him if you remember so we are one of these fundi to Kenya Pale Kazini and uh, the prayer mountain ambapo the gate mali for those who have been there he combined in a barabara so there's something that one of the fundi needs to take from the other side of the barabara mali tuko fence ni hii lakini simbo terefuke hiyo ndio pande so reverend was there reverend was there and I was there so 
when he sent the guy to go and pick something, uh, the guy had a delay. Uh, the guy said, in because the red was almost leaving. In attack, I talk and you keep a In attack, I talk and you keep a party. So, I'm going to go in there. So, he had to go. So, I left asking him. The police are ready. You need to party. I only need to go up and meet him. I only need to go up. Now, I was a member of the Kiskia. I had to go to Mesoyana. I had to go to Panya Kasa. Okay, that's So, the people, there are people, Ambao, they are very good when the Mudosi is there. Very good. So the, the boss hit the water because they looked good, qualified. So the old man, he gave each a seed, and he told them that they should all of them go and plant that seed, water it, and after one month, bring the same seed uh, to, to him. No, to see how they had taken care of the seed that they were given. And whether we have taken, you know, we don't believe that we may be Missouri, in the way of Missouri, we are the other family, and the poor people are seeing you at the moment. So, what are you doing? So, what are you doing? They were very excited. And they planted the, the seed as instructed. After some time, they realized that the seeds were not growing. The seeds were not growing. A week or two I made. And so they looked for other seeds and they planted and the seeds germinated. And they were very excited. That's why when you in the Sasa, ah, this is good. So to the work of March, well, and yes, the work of the Dogo, they did the same. Now, you come here, Missouri. So after one month, they were all gathering in the interview room. Most, uh, you know, most of them were very excited to see how well the seeds were growing. So there's in a car Missouri. Like he says, on the sheet, the guy in Missouri could go again. But not a man. There was one man who was so down in his spirit. Among the ten of them, who no more than fire the poor pallet, who kept the work in Maria, the work in the Begu, in the car, it was empty actually. And this man, he knew that was the end of him working there because he could not deliver. And then the others are going to go and you will have a good to be able to eat on a on a shield. So when the boss came, he noticed that and Alipuja Kona Kuna Moja and by Hana Begu Alipusunia Kuna Kini Hana Kina Kana Mazia. So he began to ask all the people, now tell me how was the process of growing that seed? So some of them said how they planted the seed, they watered the seed, grow. Now I say, son, this is why my seed is the way it is, because of how I planted and how I watered it, and here it is. Now, the water and then I call on Amalisa the last one man. And by Sidia, I will grow. The man said, Who you are wish? I can say my Sir, every day I watered my seed, I planted it as everyone else. I watered the seed, but it did not grow. I, I, I was disappointed. I I just brought back an empty seed. I mean an empty uh, tin. But there's no seed. seed. And then the boss, Akawambia, what Akamskiza Kasema Sawa. The boss Akasema, now, can you all listen? Need water, you have been in an integrity test to know who will take care of this empire or business with integrity. Akawambia him. Wakati ni wapatia mbegu zile ni wapatia nini wote kumi. Kabla ni wapatia zile mbegu, zote ni likuwa ni mezichemisha. 
I had boiled all the seeds. They were boiled. Aliweka kwa maji moto, akazikachemka. Nso akapatia kwa mezi pak maji. Ndio had part of them. Go to plant. And of course as you all know, ukichemsha mbegu yoyote, hakuna vile unaweza ukaipanda na imene. Are we together? Akauliza swali. How comes the nine of you mbegu zenu zilimea? Hebu nifuzeni. Mbegu yenu imechemshwa ilimea aje. Watu wakainamisha hicho. Kwa sababu anajua what they did. Venye walijua mbegu wiki nzima haimei, akajua hii mbegu si nzuri. Akaenda akatafuta mbegu nyingine. Akakuja akaweka pale na ikaanza kumea. Kwa pili akaenda akachukua mbegu nyingine, akakuja na akaweka pale ikaanza kumea. Instructions ilikuwa this seed, the only seed I'm giving you is what you're going to plant, not any other seed. But this one akajua mimi ile nipewa nitakuwa kama imei sime. And so the seed you are saying this man who seed did not grow has passed the test and he now becomes the next CEO of this great company. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. The test of integrity. What you do even when no one is there. Hawa jamaa wa jana hizo mbegu nyumbani. Hakuna mtu aliyejua vile walizifanya. Lakini wengine wakaenda wakapanya ujaja. Ha? Ujaja yule wa Kenya, ujaja. Wakapanga. Ujaja yao ni wa cost. This man who seemed to be a fool, jinga ambaye alio mambo, he became the leader. When you are a man of integrity, my friend, the rest will not understand you. But your position is getting up and up and up, high and high and high. God will be lifting you from one place to another, one level to another. Wewe uwa uaminifu. Tembea katika uaminifu. Julikana kwa uwa huyu, ata ukipaja nini, pangu wa chuku wangi. Ata ukipaja nini, hawezi ukatikisa imani yake. Wanaiswa sepiwe sana. Hold you close your eyes. And go before the Lord and tell God, I desire to be a man of integrity. I want to be faithful. I don't want to take advantage of what is not mine. Father, help me to be a man of integrity and always to do what is right. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you be known, may we be known as a church, as men of integrity. What you are delivered. Watakao tembea kwa waminifu wote, kwa wadilifu wote, watakao eshimu mungu. The story we are talking about integrity, two things about integrity. Number one, it is that you have to love, to fear God. And number two, you have to flee away from evil. When you love God, you see evil, utaikemea. Na utatembea mbali sana nae. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, this is my prayer. May you teach every one of us integrity and to be faithful and to know that whatever we do, we do it for ourselves. Sometimes we do things that are not right and we think we are going to escape from that. One thing I know and I pray God is that you're going to help every one of us to do what is right, to fear you and to walk in your ways. Teach us to be truthful. Teach us to be honest. We will purpose to be honest. We don't have to gain so much. We better walk with luck for now and bring people who are integrated in them that be so rich and later on suffer in this life or even in the life to come. I pray for everyone listening to my message this morning. I pray even for every member of this church that the Lord is going to be men and women of integrity and that will be a virtue to our lives. We give you praise and glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and we give thanks. In Jesus' name we pray and we give thanks. Amen. Amen.